What is up, everybody? Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a seamless photo for Instagram. So, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded an image to Instagram, and a lot of my friends asked me how I did it. So, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make a tutorial showing you how to make it. And if you landed on this video by destiny or fate or luck, however you wanna call it, please consider subscribing, like this video, share it with your friends, family, and unnatural beings from another planet. All right, so it's pretty easy to make this seamless photo. Uh, you're only gonna need three things. Number one, your phone. Number two, an app called Panoli. Panoli, pan Oli, pan Panoli. I don't know. It's bad. I'll put it right here. And number three, the photo you want to use. Now you have to consider that if you want to have the best results, you need to use a photo that was taken horizontally, just like the camera itself, and not vertically like on an iPhone or something like that. Alright, so for things first, let's get into our phone. Now, when you're in your phone, you're gonna open up your app. Now, I have this app synchronized to my Instagram account, but you don't have to do it. You just need the app in order for it to work. All right, so you're gonna click on the plus sign add media thing on the bottom of the app. And after that, you're gonna choose a photo. In this case, I'm gonna choose a photo that I took from the Boston Public Library now, back on like two months ago, I was there, and it's a pretty decent photo. Now, on the bottom right corner of the, your image, you're gonna see like a grid icon. Click that. And now you can choose between your image dividing into two different photos or three different photos. In this case, I'm just gonna choose two. I think it looks better. Once you've done that, you just click on split and just click upload. It's, just, it's not gonna upload to your Instagram, it's just gonna upload to the app itself. Now you're gonna see all of your images and once you've done that, click on one of your images. Click it one more time and just download it to your phone. Both of your images, remember, you need them both. And then it's just real simple, go to your Instagram, choose the multiple photo icon and then, this is very important, choose the photos from left to right, that way the image that is on the far left is gonna be the first one you choose and so on and so forth until the last one is gonna be the one on the far right. This is because if you don't do this, it's not gonna upload in order and well, it's not it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, guys. It's not gonna work. All right, after that, you're just gonna add your caption, uh, tag people, tag places, blah, 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 blah. You know, all the things you do and then this and that and little emojis and all that. Well, and you can see a preview of your image if you click on the image and if you scroll left or right, but on the preview you're gonna see a line going between both of your pictures. Don't worry, once you upload your picture, it's gonna all go away. Away. <laughs> Disappear. Alright, and that is it. That is basically, you're gonna have a super cool and interactive image on your Instagram. People are gonna go like, whoa, how do you do that? And you're gonna be like, oh, I did it because I watched this video. And you're gonna share this video with your friends. You're gonna be like, watch that video, then you're gonna be able to do this. That's it for right now. I'll see you later, or tomorrow, or next week. I'll see you here in this channel. Remember to subscribe. All right, guys, see ya.